You're not serious. Does this look like a joke? about to give up on you. <laughs> well, you know, with Kevin in Harrisburg. How that husband of yours can stand to spend even one night away from you is beyond me. Well, your note promised some laughs if I got bored. Yeah, I believe it said bored and lonely. I'm not lonely, David. Look, read my lips. Kevin and I are fine. In fact, we have an incredible marriage. Oh, it's incredible to me, all right. So what, does he make you call him Lieutenant Governor now? I knew I shouldn't come. Hey, wait, don't go. Come here. Well, come on. I'm waiting. You want me to kiss you? All right. I want you to make me laugh. Come on, David. Be funny. Sweetheart, you awake? Mom's here. Al? Al? Al, where are you? Where's Al? Mm. Had to go for some more surgeries. Max? Bo? Where's my son? Where's Al? Where's Al? Al is dead. And you killed him. What you're talking about. You are not going anywhere until you face what you did. What are you nuts? Get out of here. You and Madison, you murdered him with your little sadistic games. But I am not gonna let you get away with it. Kelly, honey, why aren't you answering my messages? Please call me back. I want to make sure that you're all right. Hello? What? Whoa. You... You are supposed to be reading. Yeah, I was. I, I just had sort of a mental exhaustion thing going. We made a deal with your parents. They're not going to let you keep staying here with me unless you keep making progress. And that doesn't mean learning the lyrics to those incomprehensible rap songs. Yeah, fine, I still see why I have to read it all over again. You already finished it? Yeah. Cover to cover. Go ahead, quiz me. River, that's wonderful! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. Oh. You're totally stupid. Well, I mean, compared to you, yeah. I mean, you know everything that there is to know. I know stuff that some other people don't know, including the both of you. <laughs> I read this book last year. <clears throat> uh, knock it off, Star. River just happens to have a, a problem that you don't happen to have. Oh, that's cool. I can deal with the squirt. Man, you're mature. Jack just threw up. Where's Hetty? Hetty took a pain pill for her back, and now she's dead to the world. Oh, that's reassuring. Mm-hmm. Where's Mom? I wish I knew. Courage, Dorian. Uh, Walker. Oh, my gosh, that's the biggest time. Almost the biggest diamond I have ever seen. Put it on. I am. Um, you know, Walker, we haven't. We really don't even know each other. What has it been like four months? Wait, wait, or wait a minute. We, we, we connected the second we met. I, I don't want to make another mistake. Listen, I'm not Todd. I'm not going to act like him. I promise. He used to make promises all the time, and I know that he wanted to keep them, but he couldn't. He, he, he always broke them. Well, I'm gonna keep mine. And I want to believe that. Marry me, Blair. Walker. 
Hello, kids. Wow, look at that thing. Man, you mind? <laughs> well, I can imagine uh, Blair would be smart enough not to be impressed by a very vulgar piece of glass. Don't you have some lieutenant governing to do? Or did you finally realize you're just window dressing? I'm just here, Walker, because I don't want to see Blair here make the huge mistake. I think Blair can make her own decisions. Kevin knows that. You hardly know this guy, Blair. He's probably not even Walker Lawrence. Are you he certainly tell? isn't the guy I know he says he enough is. Maybe about nobody Walter, wants your advice, right? Buchanan, <laughs> but you're not exactly the model husband. So, thanks a lot for stopping by. Where is Kelly, by you the way? You know what? Leave my oh, wife okay, out okay, of okay, You okay, sure? You don't get stop it. Stop it, guys. Right now, stop it. You should just go home, Kevin. Go home and be with Kelly. Yeah. Just use your head, Blair. Seriously. You're not gonna listen to him. He's right. He's going way too fast, no. Walker. Do you think that the way we feel about each other is gonna go away anytime soon? Hmm? We're made for each other. We knew that the second we laid eyes on each other. Say yes to me. The guy was a professional assassin. I mean, he was locked up for life. And cranky. <laughs> Didn't your mother ever tell you to stay away from career criminals? If my mother was ever in a Moroccan prison, she... maybe she was. <laughs> So anyway, my Egyptian must have been kind of rusty because I was trying to ask this assassin if I could pay him for protection, but what I actually said was, do you use protection? <laughs> no way. There, it worked. Okay, I got you to laugh. That took quite a while, but it was worth it. Oh, what was? <laughs> Telling you that humiliating story. <sighs> you are so incredibly lovely when you smile. You should do that more often. Uh, Dorian tell you to say that? A man would have to be blind not to notice. I need a refill. Hey, listen to me. Dorian did not send me here. Hey, where's the LTG tonight? LTG, what is that, a car? Um, actually, he's working, which is exactly what I should be doing. I've got to speak at this fundraiser tomorrow. If anybody ever told you the bartender should be seen and not heard, I own the place. Thank you for bringing me out tonight. It was fun. Yeah, okay, but look, it's, it's still early. Not when you've been up since sunrise. All right, well, then let me take you home. No. No, you stay. She didn't mean that. They had to take him for more surgery. Right, Bo? That's, that's why he's not in this room. The same room. No, listen. Al's not in surgery. We knew there was a risk. What are you saying? Al. Al's body went into shock. His heart stopped. They tried, but. No! No! Doctors, I don't know what you sit down. You're lying to me! Please. You're lying to me! You are lying to me! You're lying to me! You're lying to me! I can't believe you're lying to me! Don't lie to me! Don't lie to me! Don't lie to me! Come on, get the hell out of here! Do you want me to tell the whole world what a psycho you are? Oh. Did the big guy dump you? Is that your problem? Al is dead! For real? And you locked me in that dumpster, I caught in an infection. And then he caught it from me. And his liver was destroyed, and now he's dead. That's not my fault. Okay, that's not. Just get out of here. <laughs> you and Madison and your sleazy little friends, you think you can treat other people like dirt, but you're the scum! You're scum! Get out of here! Get I'm 
sorry he died, okay? But there's really nothing that I can do about that. You're more dead than he is. And you don't even know it. <laughs> I'm gonna spend my life with the living. How did you find me? You left the address on your computer screen. You heard me? Yeah. You were awesome, sis. I bet it won't bring Cal back. Consider this an ongoing discussion. I'm not really ready to get married again. I don't know if I ever will be. Have a little faith, Blair. I want you to I want you to take this. I'm gonna put it in your purse. I want you to look at it. I want you to remember it's a symbol of how I feel about you. I love you. And we could have a very nice life together if you let that happen. My heart. My heart is saying one thing. <laughs> my stupid head is saying something. Then listen to your different. heart. I... I just need some time. How much time? I don't know. But, um... Walker, please. Just let me go. Don't follow me. Hates cleaning up puke. Fetch ten bucks to try to wake up Patty. <laughs> Sucker's bet. <sighs> hey, what was that secret you were yapping about earlier? It's huge. If I tell everybody, I'd blur the city sky high. Oh, God. That is something I would pay money for. What are you doing? Oh, oh gosh, I gotta take this. <sighs> Hey, what's going on? Your mom's on her way home. From where? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I, I asked her to marry me. <gasps> you did? That's awesome! Calm down. Star, I, I, she didn't say... She didn't say yes. Oh, no. You didn't mess it up, did you? Well, she didn't say no, either. She said she needs more time. But we've already wasted too much time already. I know. I feel the same way. I want us to be family again. I don't want to wait. Why won't you just tell Mom who you are already? Last time I lied to her, she left me. If she finds out I'm not really Walker Lawrence. War toast. Yeah, we are. She took the ring with her. Well, well that's good. Yeah. But I, I need you to work on her. Don't worry, Z. I'm on it. Who are you talking to? I've uh, got to go. Bye.
You miss me? You followed me? Absolutely. I wanted to make sure you got home safe and sound. Well, your work is done. Good night. Now, just hold on one second. Are you here alone? No, I am not. And Kevin will be back tomorrow. Oh, the joys of an overnighter in Harrisburg, PA. And when he gets back, he's going to go straight to work, isn't he? You know, some people do have work to do. Important work, David. You know, Kevin is the lieutenant governor, and I'm sorry, who are you? I'm a work in progress. Uh-huh. But Kevin is a lucky little rich boy with an even richer granddad and powerful friends. Have you ever even held down one job? I freelance. You're a con artist. That's freelance. Yeah? Well, Kevin wants to make a difference in the world. Do you have any idea what that takes? Everybody wants something from him. His time, his money, jobs, a kind word. Does that include you? You see, because I've heard of absentee landlords, absentee ballots, but you got yourself an absentee husband. Since when are you an expert on relationships? All right, I admit that I uh, am not currently in a relationship, but I'll tell you, I sure wouldn't settle for what you've got. What do you know about what I've got? You're a beautiful, talented, and very sexy woman, Kelly, and you are alone. That's no way to live. Let's go. Where? Hotel, my car. Aren't there stables out back? Well, yeah. Come on, come on. Well, David, no, no, no. What? I can't do this. Why not? God. I mean, maybe you have nothing to lose. You, Kelly, this is beyond me. How can you be loyal to Kevin when he treats you like pawn scum? Look, I am sorry that I led you on. Now, listen, that was not a one-way kiss. I know. I mean, you... You are in a very... Tra a very attractive man. I'm sorry, what? You're a very attractive man. And regardless of your reputation, not a bad guy. Yeah, well, whatever you do, do not tell that to Dorian. <sighs> Kelly! Honey? What the hell is this? Place. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Man can get whatever he wants in here. Music, booze, women. I'd be more than happy to hook you up to elevate your mood. That's what you like, Junior. What I'm looking for, you can't give me. So get out of my face. Where were you? I was in Harrisburg. Uh, chasing a story. Did that story have anything to do with our new lieutenant governor? Would you stop it? There's absolutely nothing going on between Kevin and me, all right? Mm. Well, Mom, mm -hmm. what a rock. What were you doing in my purse, Star? Looking for money. I owe River 15 bucks. Let oh, me see that, this. Star. Oh, my goodness. Is this an engagement ring? It's not an engagement ring. You could have fooled me. Oh, Mom, you are such a bad liar. Come on, we want some straight answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Walker proposed to me today. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't accept. Why not? Listen, you have to call him and tell him that you do. Walker is a great guy, and even Jack likes him. Oh, what's gotten into you? She just wants you to be happy. And that is exactly right, and we really have to face the facts, Mom. What? Dad is never coming back. <sighs> Out of the mouths of babes. I just don't want you to be alone. You could do worse. Now, because she took the ring, does that mean that she's thinking about it or that she accepted? Uh, not necessarily. You see, a Kramer woman never refuses good jewelry. Really? Never? Okay, okay, stop, you two. Stop it. Just do it, Mom. Yes, go for it, honey. I mean, there's something between the two of you that just... Anyway, thank heavens. Walker is no Todd. Is there anything I can get you? Just my son. Hey. How you doing? Okay. Not really, I'm scared. Yeah. I was the first person who ever truly loved me. I mean, I know you love me. Hey, hey. Brothers are different, you know that. <laughs> he thought I was beautiful. He was right. I was beautiful when I was with him. The way he made me feel. He was my best friend. What do I do now? your son. Everyone did. The voice of the night, he made such a difference to so many people. He changed my life. I think it's almost time for him to be on the air. I have to go and tell his fans what happened. Mercy, you don't have to do that, Mercy. Yes, I do. For Al. Can you give me a ride? Marcy, I don't know if it's a good idea. Ron, if you don't, I'll just take a cab. Come on, I'll take you. Max, I'll be right there. Could you keep an eye on her? Yeah, sure. How's my girl? If you're listening to this, maybe the surgery didn't go so well. So help me, Vickers, I swear to God. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you it's you not your go. Yeah, you know what? I told you to stay away from my wife, pal. Come on, Kevin. No, what are you doing? No, come on. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous? Why don't you explain to me what just happened? 
Nothing. Nothing happened. Why don't you use your head? What, what happens if the newspaper gets a hold of this, huh? What do you think they would do? Would you listen to yourself? All you're concerned about is how it's going to look in the papers. Look, we have got to build a united front. Oh, and how are we supposed to do that when we never even see each other? God, pretty soon our relationship's only going to exist on the front page. Well, what would you suggest we do? I don't know. Maybe you could start by trusting me. Trusting you? Yes. I'm not the one who had an affair. We said we'd never bring that up. Well, again. we're talking about trust. I think it's pretty relevant. Look, I made a terrible mistake, and I apologize for that, and I will never stop. You swore you would never do it again. I won't. I did it because I was lonely. You were lonely. <laughs> well, then that makes it okay, I suppose, right? No. No. Look, I know that I have been working a lot. I know that everything is crazy right now, but I don't have a choice. Your work has always been crazy. Ever since the day we got married. You are gone all the time. You're around beautiful women, you're an incredible flirt, and I sit alone. Yeah, well, I never slept with any of them, did I? Thanks. Kelly, wait. We, we can't let this happen. I don't know how to stop it. I don't either. But we can't go on living like this. Are you saying you want a divorce? chicken like this. I think about your daddy, Star. You know he was the love of my life. Mine too. I know. That's why we just have to think really hard about letting somebody else in our family. I've thought really long and hard about it. It's been the only thing I've been able to think about, and I think you should do it. <laughs> I heard you the first time. You mean the first hundred times? <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. All right, let me have that. We've had enough ice cream. Yes, yeah, too much ice cream, too much sugar. Go brush your teeth. Go get in bed. No, no, not anymore. Yes. I love you, baby. Good night. Hey, don't you knock? Where's Dory? Where'd you get those keys, David? <clears throat> See ya. The deal is off. I'm sorry, our deal doesn't have an out clause. If Kevin Buchanan had a gun, I'd be cooling my heels in the morgue right now. Hey, is that chocolate? Yes. Help yourself, so you're making progress? Hardly. Lieutenant Brightsmile abandons his wife on a regular basis, but she's completely devoted to him. I mean, call it perverse, call it disgusting, but there's no way we're gonna keep those two away from each other. We have to. For God's sake, Dorian, why? Because Kevin and Kelly are trying to have a baby. Yeah, well, couples often do that. If Kevin gets Kelly pregnant, she could die. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I walk in the room and there's Vickers and I... You were jealous. It was nice. It gives me hope.
leave it like this. I love you. Walker, so you're Walker, 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 Walker. It is, it is. It's late. So you'll marry me, please. Let me ask you something. Where are you going? Do you need to have the answer tonight? Yes. Then the answer is... No. waiting to hear the voice of the night and I'm sorry to have to tell you that um well the voice won't be broadcasting from LU anymore he's gone to a place where there's love peace and justice a place where the only thing that matters is what's in your heart if you've ever heard him you know that the voice always spoke straight from his heart and even though that we can't hear him anymore, we know that his spirit will always be with us. Earlier tonight, Al Holden, the voice of the night, died. This is the place where Al could always be himself. He touched a lot of people, including me. But... He was so much more than just a voice to me. He was my friend, my love, my soulmate. He was my hero. I was a wonderful son and a brother and a friend to so many people. We'll miss him. But we'll keep him alive forever. In our hearts. He loved this radio show. He fought to keep it when the administration threatened to close him down for speaking his mind. And he knew a lot of you were counting on him to keep you company through the long, lonely nights. I know I was. This song was one of his favorites. I hope that you'll remember him. You can watch 
watching out on the streets. Do you want to see me there? In the backyards, kids at their feet. I was always somewhere else And isn't that the way The world moves on without me Right behind I love you Just the way you are, Marcy to live. Nobody falls over railing backwards by accident. She was pushed. What's he up to? Whatever it is, it can't be good. You can't just go stay at your place all by yourself with a bunch of memories. My memories are all I have. Hi, this is Linda Dano, and I love playing Felicia on Another World. I'm so thrilled SoapNet is taking us back to Bay City. Every weekday, turn on SoapNet and return to another world. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.